What is up guys? Dylan back here. This is my Tennessee versus Pittsburgh post game video. Alright, I wasn't able to do this video right, uh, right after the game because because yesterday I had family come up from Georgia and so and so I was watching the game with, with, with family and then after the game and then after the game ended I had to I had to go do I had to go do uh, some mowing and weed eating and then after that I needed to go get something to eat. And so Yes, I'm aware that I'm wearing a white beater. I'm aware of that. However, I have, I'm tired. Let's say I'm, I'm I'm tired and got a little hot today here in West Tennessee. Not not too bad, but but I you know I did I did sweat when I was doing the yard work. So I decided you know after I got out of the shower, just go wear this and. And so, yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, anyway, that's not the point of this video. Um, Tennessee ended up losing the Pittsburgh 41 to 34. And when it was a very disappointing loss due to the fact that Tennessee had their chances, they just made too many mistakes. Uh, they had they, 13, 13 penalties and three turnovers. Um, Joe Milton did not look good. He had the same issues that he had last week. He he just kept overthrowing receivers, and so. At one point, Joe Milton got sacked on a big hit, and he ended up getting hurt. And so for the rest of the game, Virginia Tech transfer Hendon Hooker was put in the game, and he looked much better. Much better. I mean, yeah. And yeah, Hendon Hooker, I mean... If it wasn't, I think if it wasn't for him, Tennessee wouldn't have had a chance to wouldn't have had a chance to tie up the game in the fourth quarter like they did. And so, um, and so, and so, I, in my opinion, I think going forward, Hendon Hooker should be the starting quarterback because the offense, the offense just looked so much better with him at quarterback. Now I didn't think I didn't think Tennessee played bad defensively. I just think I just think Tennessee gave Pittsburgh three scores off, off those turnovers. And of course, in the fourth quarter, Tennessee by, got screwed by the rest by a garbage by a garbage spot. Where on third and short, no, on third down in the fourth quarter, Tennessee got the first down. But then they go to measure it, and it was a garbage spot by the officials. And then Tennessee gets stuck on fourth down. And so, I, and so I think if Tennessee, I think if Tennessee's given that first down, they score and tie the game up. And so, like I said, I don't think the defense played bad at all. Um, they they were having trouble getting pressure on Pittsburgh's quarterback, even though they did. They did get to him a couple times. Um, one thing that Tennessee's defense has had trouble with, and they especially had trouble with it today, was forcing turnovers. I mean, there was one play, I think it was in the fourth quarter, where Tennessee was so close to getting, a, getting an interception. But it was just right out of the reach of the, of the defender's hand. And so, 
I said this was just a disappointing loss, but but there were bright spots in this game. And I and one thing I am happy about is that when Tennessee got down by 14 in the fourth quarter, they did not quit and they kept playing their butts off. And in the end, Tennessee had a chance. They had a chance. And that's what I like about Tennessee today. Tennessee was actually competitive today. They played their butts off and actually had a chance at the end. And so, and so we just have to wait and see what Tennessee does next week. Tennessee should win next week. Tennessee plays Tennessee Tech next week and Tennessee should win that one. But then, but then after that, it does not get any easier because after Tennessee Tech, Tennessee starts conference play against Florida. Uh, I just I, I just hope Tennessee can pull off an upset or two. But like I said, we just have to wait and see what happens. Just have to wait and see what happens. Uh, uh, injuries did play a factor in today's game. T Tennessee did have a did have their start running back go down. And Tennessee was already thin at running back because their number two back got injured during the week of practice. So he was already out. And Tennessee already already had some guys out on the offensive line and, de and defensive line. And so... But... You gotta give credit to Pittsburgh. They came in. Uh, Tennessee came out fi on fire when it took a ten nothing lead. But but you gotta give credit to Pittsburgh. They did not quit. They didn't quit. And Pittsburgh, you know Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh just played better than, than Tennessee overall. Like I said, Tennessee just made too many mistakes, and and Pittsburgh just. They just did what good teams do. They they took advantage of those mistakes. And so ten, Tennessee's got to they got to get those cleaned up. They got to get the they got to get the penalties cleaned up. I mean, especially in the second quarter, Tennessee just looked so undisciplined. To me, there were two factors in Tennessee's loss today. Penalties and turnovers. To me, those were the two things. Those were the two things that cost Tennessee today in this game: penalties and turnovers. To me, that cost Tennessee. To me, that made the, di the biggest difference in this game with those two things right there. So Tennessee's got to get those cleaned up. Got to. Got to. So. Anyway, guys, we'll just have to wait and see what Tennessee does against Tennessee Tech next week. Um, I will be watching the Falcons and Eagles tomorrow, so so I'll have a post-game video about the Falcons once that game ends tomorrow. So, so anyway, guys, I'll be back on uh, tomorrow afternoon, right after the Falcons game end. Um, I hope y'all have a great night. And I hope y'all have had a great day. So, anyway guys, I'll, I'll see y'all tomorrow after the Falcons game. God bless.